Well, I do not have time to dilly-dally. We need to go and jump into the final game. Actually, I have to pause just a sec so that we have a little bit of a break. Makes it easier to get the YouTube video. So, five seconds. What an unbearable silence. Am I right, everybody? That is fine. Uh, because I actually forgot to change something else. Hey, this is Cusa Grande, the bad video game tournament. Crappy, take us to the game reveal. Whoa, watch out. The squash boy gonna get you. That's okay. Who isn't getting squash? Well, it is our GM for the final game. Luckily, avoiding all of the tragedy and possibly all 3D. Our dear friend, cat-related pun. Come here, cat. What? Oh, the cat. The cat would have done the water level fantastic, I swear. Seriously, can you imagine playing as this cat in the squash game? That would be fantastic. Hello there, cat-related pun. Welcome. Hey! Hey! I, uh, I... Still, every time I see the cat, the scuba cat, it's amazing. The tail sticking straight up. So good. <laughs> um, speaking of which, I have a little co-commentator with me today. Her name's Marceline. We'll see if she's feeling horrible at all. Oh. But she's just having a grim right now. Aw, well, adorable. I hope that we get to hear Kitty. And... Music, YouTube, why do you keep playing the same Bugs Bunny birthday blowout song? We're going to something else. I'm done with that. Yeah, so cat related pun, what do we have for today? Um, we have a, and it has been on Chris Grande before, but yeah, I played it and was marveled by how awful it is. It is, it's not good. <laughs> um, yeah, um, Ow, it's it. a late period. A system game that was only really that wasn't released in the US, and you did good not getting it because it, it's really something. Um, today's game is the Cyber Shinobi for the Seeker Master System. The Cyber Shinobi, I forgot to put the at the beginning in my list. Well, that's okay, players will play the Cyber Shinobi for the next hour, and whoever makes the most progress takes the victory, whoever doesn't only gets two points. And I have to ask. Are we having anybody eliminated from Cusa Grande during this match? Um, this is a two-play match, um, so... So two players will be eliminated. Uh, ten. Oh, Not ten. Two. Okay, no, but it, never mind. Whatever. Nah, let's just eliminate Okami since Okami is playing. Ha! <laughs> JK. <laughs> the players will have one hour. Whoever comes in first gets 10 points. Whoever loses only gets two points, but that is still enough to stay in. Remember, at the end of round two, players have to have at least a total of nine points. And coming in with 10 points in this round, nobody is at risk. But we have some strong players here. Look at these names. We've got Amazing Toaster, Garby, The Glitterous, Okami of Games, and finally, someone, 3255. Uh, yeah, simply put, we have past GMs. We have someone who won Cusa Grande. You know, this is going to be a pretty dang fun. I think someone 3255 won. Unless I'm, like, very mistaken. I don't think someone did. In that um, case, getting that... very close to the end. Yeah, like... There are definitely... Oh, I was thinking of some girl. Yeah, not someone 3255. Someone 3255 ends up getting into the brackets uh, fairly often, as does Okami, as has Amazing Toaster, as has Garb. Like, I have no idea who I would predict to be the winner of this match. This is going to be fun. Now, hmm. now, let me go and check with the players to see if they're ready to begin, because I am. Uh, is there anything we need to know before we begin? Um, not that I can immediately think of. Cool. <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm just, uh, and take down your picks, please. 
Yes, I'm just asking them to take down the pictures, okay? Because we've got Cyber Shinobi for Sega Master System. Uh, uh-oh, Cyber Zed. I don't like Zed. What is a Zed? Okay. Just checking. Someone 3255 is ready. Uh, Garb is ready. Amazing Toaster ready. Okami is ready. It is time for chat to spam your emotes. So what would be good emotes for chat to spam? Obviously anything Shinobi related. Ninjas. Anything ninja related. Fire. Fire. Guns. Wait, knit the guns and ninjas? I suppose. Yeah. Okay, I'll stun Z chat. Stop telling me to. Gosh. Okay, <laughs> as soon as I see movement, I will start our timer, and here we go! Cyber Shinobi for the Sega Master System, everybody. Uh, I am... I, I believe that I recall this game, but it has been a long time if we've had it in Cusa Grande. It was in Cusa 4, I believe. So, yeah, quite a while. Sweet. Kuso 4, yeah, that is a decent amount of time. I mean, we're on the eighth tournament. Every four tournaments, the Cyber Shinobi shows up again. Always terrifying. And somehow Okami's controls became unbound, and he is into the game. So, uh, I'm not exactly sure how that happened. We'll go ahead and... Uh, if there does need to be some sort of uh, time adjustment to that, that is a referee call, not my call. But these are 10-point players. Nobody's getting eliminated. You know, they're all, they're all going to do good here. Now, talk to me about this game, cat-related pun, because you you know that it's been in Cusa Grande before, but I believe that you have played it more recently than I have, or at least seen it more recently than I have. What is this game all about? Um, it's sort of a platformer beat em up kind of hybrid, and just, it is, like, um, I'm, I actually did have a, um, we have a vetting spreadsheet for other gents to look against. I'm gonna, just going to say what I wrote down there, because I think that sums it up nicely. Okay. Um. This game has all the classics, a frame rate of under 10, reference and combat that feels like you're swimming in molasses, an attack range so short that it makes Lagoon seem reasonable, garbage and some death traps which we'll get to, and a control scheme that makes it easy to accidentally do the wrong moves, and just more. This game is rough. Yeah, uh, whenever you have a game that runs on a system that should have a high frame rate and the frame rate is not high, uh, you are probably going to deal with it missing inputs. Uh, you have to deal with possibly pushing a button three times in order to actually do what you want to do, uh, or pushing a button and having the action happen about like half a second late. That is pretty common in games from this time as well. I have to ask because I saw fire spinning around, is there going to be flashing in this game? I don't believe there's flashing. Um, it is possible that one of the ninjutsu skills that I didn't use has flashing, but I I have not seen flashing that I have, like, that I remember. Chat, you all make me laugh so much. Fire! There we go. We got some fire. <laughs> oh. It... You all make me laugh, and the referees make me laugh as well. We've got some good referees here helping to keep track. Redford, Cyber Nakarashi, ooh, upgraded from the normal version. Blastinus, Dragus, Linker, and Maoshai are also helping out. Thank you to all the referees for helping to make sure that we know who is the victor during this. Uh, of course, uh, this match is a little bit less important for who wins, except for the fact that, you know, whoever comes in last or third place will have a bit more of an uphill struggle when it comes to making it to the brackets. Uh, with that said, I I have no idea who is going to be the victor here. Now, the progress is being yeah, just... Is... Oh, yeah, go ahead. 
Oh yeah, this this is an I'm excited to watch this one. I don't particularly love the music, but it's not the worst I've heard today. Hey, there's some more fire, everybody! I hope you like fire! Yeah. There's just a lot of shooting. You're right, like, you said to spam guns as a possible emote, and I... I you're right, I hear this a lot. It's very annoying. Okay, good. The person with the gun is dead. Oh, there's another person with the gun! Yeah, this is not good. Like, even for Sega Master System standards, uh, and my bet, like, the SMS is a little bit more comparable to uh, the NES than the Super Nintendo. Ah, there's fire! But Amazing Toaster is so low, you can't even see the fire spell. Yep. Okay, so we've seen a couple of people fall victim to this now. Um, Sam just has these, like, areas of ground that just fall away when you stand on them. Okay. And it's instant death. And there is nothing to differentiate it from everything else. So it's just and you're it's just going so to big. jump on platforms and die occasionally. That's fantastic. It's, it's not even platforms. It is just you can walk along the ground if you stand still for a bit. Oop. Um. So yeah, that that's enough. We. I think if um. Watch some on screen in particular at the stage, I think. Okay, I'm watching. To... What the I'm crap? No. <laughs> okay, so you technically can jump off of it, but yeah, that's not fair. That's not kind. Oh, jeez, how is this so bad? It's, it's surprising, too, because the first Shinobi the Master System is one of the best games on that console. <laughs> this is just so bad. So wait, this is a... S there was another Shinobi game on the Sega Master System before this? Yep, just Shinobi. Okay, just Shinobi. Gotcha. I mean, you look at the publishers here, and one of them was indeed Tectoy uh, Industria G. Brinquedos, uh, which is a Brazilian company. Uh, and... Yeah, I... It is a name I have seen a lot, and if I'm searching for games, they're usually a good bet to go with, because... Yeah. Now, the main developer, or the planner for this game is Captain Elf. Yep, Captain Elf was the main person who worked on this, who also worked on Michael Jackson's Moonwalker for Genesis, uh, Alex Kidd in Shinobi World, which came out after the Cyber Shinobi, Golden Axe Warrior. Thank you so much, Captain Elf. Min was another one credited on this. They also worked on Tommy Lasorda Baseball and Battle Outrun. I have a feeling that those may not have helped too much contributing to this game. Now, with that said, uh, just because a game is bad doesn't mean that the developers themselves were bad. Oftentimes, it's due to management issues or just uh, a level of standards that some companies had. A lot of the times, uh, companies were like, we got to get a game out the door. You know, it doesn't matter if it's great. If it looks good enough that it gets people to try it out, then that's really what matters. The least viable product is death for a lot of video games, and this may have been yeah. the least viable product. Oh my gosh. So, Akami is on level 2 now. So, like, he's taking nearly lead, and a, yeah, impressive performance so far. I mean, you, you look at one of the people who did audio for this, and... Like, some of the games that they helped with were pretty legit. Like, Shenmue 2, they did some of the voice ed editing for that. Uh, 
Daytona USA for PS3. They are listed as a sound desire, designer for that. I don't know if they worked on the original Daytona USA, uh, but they did stuff with OutRun as well. I see Shadow Dancer for Sega Master System, which as far as I'm aware, that's a good game. And the audio here is actually kind of good. It's like mystic. They need to get rid of the like that part's annoying, okay? But I think audio is one of the best things about us. Yeah, I and there there are things to compliment about this game. Uh, the art, I actually really like some of the uh, sprite design. This doesn't look like a Sega Master System game if you take a freeze frame of the sprites. However, if you, uh, like, look at everything else, it's like, yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, so, Garp just reset. I don't know if that was intentional or not. Mm. Uh, it may be, it may not. Some, <laughs> you know, sometimes, especially, uh, uh, some of the classic strong players do things that are a little bit surprising uh, for us. But yeah, there there is a possibility that there was a reset. I, I'm sure that if the game did something weird, Garb would tell us. Okami, meanwhile, yeah. is making some strong progress and managed to avoid, no, the first bit, but not the second shot in the air. Welcome to the game, everybody. So as a general rule for this section that Okami's on, if there's an enemy that standing like next to a platform, that platform like will that, go um, down. Yeah, I gotcha. The platform that the enemy is standing on is going to be fine, but not the one in front yeah. of the enemy. So if they're just standing on the absolute edge of a platform, uh, be very careful. An amazing toaster is on to the next level as well. I believe that that is pretty clear for Okami currently being in the lead. Amazing toaster in second. Uh, Garb and someone 325 are pretty close to each other. I think someone might be a little bit in the lead, but we still have plenty yeah. of time before anything is decided here. Indeed. Now, um, so, yeah, go ahead. Uh, one thing I want to talk about, um, you know, I've seen people be like, in chat, be like, oh, I'm surprised we managed to find a game for everyone, and like, surprised nobody's played this. Apparently, um, Master Sim is just kind of a, Okami hasn't played too much of that, but, like, yeah, this was the second game I tried handing out. It, Oh, I think I know what the first one was. was. I'm not gonna say, but I was thinking, I bet one of the players has played it. And I bet that it was Okami. <laughs> Am I right? It was, Okami did feature that. Um, yeah, see, I, was, I knew it. I'm psychic, everybody. Hey, let me read your fortunes, okay? They're all gonna be crap, but that's fine. <laughs> It wasn't the first game I ch it wasn't the game I was planning on handing out. I was like, because of like who was in this match, I figured, oh, there's gonna be a bunch of betas. So I'm gonna try and hand out a bunch of really bad games, just so you know, get across that I mean business today. And one of them just happened to be, you know, get through. Ha ha! Well, good, yeah. Only having one veto is kind of a surprise. Well, good, good. Oh, yeah, 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 you didn't give out the one that I was expecting, but it still makes sense. I'm not too surprised that, uh... That was a game that I was wanting to hand out today, but, yeah, just this one got through. Yeah, and honestly, like, th this is definitely Kusoge. Like, people looking at this... FIRE! Okay, uh, people looking at this, you can tell that this game has problems. Just because a game is janky and has issues, though, that doesn't mean that it's completely unenjoyable. In fact, I, th I think that I would probably... I, I like playing games that have terrible frame rates, I gotta be honest, but I'm also a very broken person. Oh, mm. Toaster, very smart. 
Oh, Toaster so jumped is. right, but unfortunately the bullet had enough impact to knock him back and cause him to die. So, I do have to ask, you know, with this game uh, being a race, uh, what is the continue and life situation in this? It's a news to my knowledge are unlimited. Okay. Um, but they do send you right back to the start of the level. Um, so Akami's on level 3 now, making really good progress. Um, there are 6 levels in this game, so if Akami keeps this up, we will absolutely see a completion. Yeah, Okami fighting a helicopter. Die, helicopter, die! I guess the helicopter died. Oh no, space... Why do we have astronauts? I guess we just have astronauts. That's just life here in Cyber Shinobi, you know? We're not normal Shinobi, we're Cyber Shinobi. Um, although, um, I don't know if we will see this, but I will mention it now anyway, just in case. Um, so you, you'll probably see a timer in the top left. Um, that doesn't, um, reset on death. Oh no. And when that runs out, um, you don't game over, but you go right back to the start of the level, no matter how, like, if you had a checkpoint or not, you're just back at the beginning. Okay, so <laughs> that that is a very strict limit for uh, the level that you're on. Gotcha. Indeed. Oh. So someone is on level two now as well. So very I think the current nice. order of the stages: Okami, Toaster, someone, and Gabi. Yeah. And for reference here, uh, for those who are watching VODs later, the level progress uh, is pretty linear. It's very clear when people are making progress. Uh, however, if there is a tie that they're on the same level, FIRE! Uh, then that means whoever makes the most uh, progress towards the end of the stage will be the winner. If they're in a mandatory fight, then it's going to be how many enemies are killed if there are multiple enemies, and if it's a boss, whoever got to the boss first, since you can't see the boss's health. Yeah, we tend to do that because a lot of games have different types of attacks, and each attack does a different amount of damage, and it... Oh, look at the boulders with square... Oh my gosh, okay, okay, I love the boulders. They've got... That is... That is a classic Master System sprite, that one. <laughs> I love the sprite. Yeah, okay, I just had... I got distracted because of the beautiful boulder sprite. Oh, look at the... Okay, I like the totem poles, too. Yeah, there are other things on uh, the HUD that I need to ask you about because we've got the life meter, uh, we've got a power gauge. What's the power gauge? If I remember right, the power gauge, um, as it fills up, you deal more damage. Gotcha. Cool. Do you know how you fill it up? Uh, there are items around, if I remember right. Okay. Okami is just like crouching and wiggling to avoid the boulders. Of course, one log randomly falls because why wouldn't it? Okami kicking the totem pole. We grab fire on amazing toaster screen. Now, ninjutsu, I believe that's probably the the magic gauge, that's essentially. The, that's, yeah, that's what the fire is all about and is shot the number of projectiles you have. Yeah, um, there are multiple different projectiles and the shot, um, it overfills and when it does, you get a more powerful weapon. Aha! Uh, that's actually, I kind of like that. You fill it up and then uh, get a weapon upgrade when it's all the way full. Very nice. 
Okay, amazing so toaster just trying just to kill this. Yeah? Kind of crushing it right now. Like, oh no! I, last time this was... Tornado! <laughs> There's some good tornadoes. <laughs> they barely hurt the enemies as far as I could tell, though. Like... Yeah, I'm not actually sure what that did. Okay, um, cool. Yeah, last time, last time this was on Cursor Grande, there was one completion at like 40 minutes in. Urukami is on pace to beat that significantly. Uh, yeah, there's a game over. Unfortunately, Black Tiger jumping on Okami and killing him. That's fine. Welcome to life. Welcome to Cyber Shinobi. Uh. Yeah, luckily, it seems like the controls for the game are pretty simple. I mean, Master System, just imagine, basically an NES controller. You've got the D-pad to move, button one is jump, one plus up is a high jump, just in case you need to get to some of the higher areas. It also helps if you're falling and you hold up and jump on uh, one of the falling platforms, you can sometimes escape death that we have seen multiple people fall to. Uh, button two is attack two and up that is essentially like castlevania up and attack uh it uses your sub weapon uh and uses the shop meter and then if you push one and two at the same time that is your fire or tornado your ninjutsu <laughs> ability right there indeed so okami has no health I hope that is just, like, one hit from death and... Ah, oh, yeah. Cool. This... Yeah, I... Making sure that there wasn't a glitch infinite life state or something. Garb using fire on Bulldozer. Is that going to be enough to take down the Bulldozer? Probably not. Got to... Gotta deal some I don't hits think on fire the... does a lot of damage, it just does damage everything on screen. Okay. So essentially, if you want to I hit everything... Garb knows about the high jump. I mean, it is listed in the manual, up and jump. There we go, Garb on top of the bulldozer kicking the window. Oh, good, good. Definitely want to back up after that, though, because uh, it will immediately start coming towards you and it will hurt. Yeah, kick the windshield. You know, one strategy for actually dealing more or hits to this faster is to let the uh, bulldozer come out a little bit more. And then if you hold down and keep attacking, as long as it lets you keep landing multiple hits instead of just one per cycle, uh, then you could get multiple hits on it and take it down a little bit faster. There we go, Garb is through. Nice. Yeah, everybody is through round one. Garb taking the longest to get through, but that opens up the possibility that she can start making a good push through the rest of this game. Now, Amazing Toaster is fighting a submarine. Okami kicking people in the knees. Uh, someone just still is struggling a little bit with this crate stage or the whatever it is. They're shipping containers and people with guns and really really like here's the deal they're dressed like they're gonna go wrestle but i feel like if you're gonna fight a shinobi you should probably wear a little bit more i mean they've got swords and everything put on some armor you know a mask what is that gonna do that's that's not gonna help you at all the mask is supposed to keep your identity secret uh, maybe keep your head warm if it's cold outside, but that's about it. Amazing Toaster onto the helicopter level and immediately getting hit by the fire. I love it. So much sound. Ow. Ooh, some sound hurt. I didn't like that. Do, 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 
Just so you know. Wow, I found a manual for this game, and let me just tell you, I do not like the way they scanned it. It is not possible to read. Well, that's not even English. Okay, that makes sense. That's why I, I can't read it. Them, it's not uh, English. I just handed them a list of controls. That's probably a good idea, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, well, that's okay. I think I have maybe a manual here. There we go, the Cyber Shinobi, because I gotta find out some of the story here. Why are we a, a Cyber Shinobi and not a normal Shinobi? Well, as it turns out, Cyberzeed, the villains who previously tried to destroy the world, are back. Zed's army is stealing plutonium from the power plants. Their goal is to melt down this planet. Well, <laughs> their goal is to melt down this planet. I feel like that would take a lot of heat, maybe the sun. Yeah. We're, okay, all the world's nations joined forces in an attempt to put an end to this chaos. Thousands of troops were sent out, but none of them was successful. Ooh. Ooh, they actually used the right conjugation. None was successful. Good. <laughs> then Joe Musashi appeared, the grandson of the brave ninja who had defeated Cyber Z years ago. Joe's the only one who can use the four types of ninjutsu, fire, tornado, lightning, and earth element. He's the only hope. Be Joe Musashi and wipe out Cyber Z for good. There you go. So the goal is to be Joe and win. I hope that helped everybody so, because that's pretty much all the story we've got here. So you will be tested on this after this match. It will be on the exam. Oh, perfect. Everybody, I bet you didn't know, but you are being judged. Hope you do well. Okay, so yeah, the controls pretty simple. Le learn your shinobi moves. Yeah, up and D pad. That is, or er, up and jump. That makes you jump higher. Getting started. There's round boss. Round boss's weak point. I don't care. I don't care what my screen shows. We've already been through that. Okay, so various items. There is the life drop uh, that says L. The letter L is life. The letter N is ninjutsu. The letter P is for power and shot. Okay, you don't have a picture for number four. I assume it's an S, but uh, it actually doesn't say whatever. This is stupid. Same. Like it lists one, two, three, and four, and then it has pictures for one, two, and three, but then four, shot. It doesn't have a picture for shot. Why don't you show me what the pickup is? Manual. I'm very upset. Okay, ninjutsu. The type of ninjutsu you can use is determined by the number of red units on the gauge. So if you have a full ninjutsu gauge, then you can use the earth element. Uh, Fire requires one or two, tornado four, lightning six, earth element uses eight. Uh, the different shots that you have are shuriken launch, sure, aka you just throw a shuriken. It's called your arm. Yeah. There's also laser Vulcan. When you hold down button one, you can shoot continuously. And finally, super grenade. You can destroy several enemies at a time with this. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, so if you see something that looks like a potion, that's actually a grenade. If you see something that looks like a cone, like on someone's screen, uh, it's facing the wrong way in the manual, ignore that. Uh, that is indeed your laser Vulcan. Okay, and someone 325 is caught up with the amazing toaster, Okami fighting the leopard and is actually doing pretty good. I think Okami has found a good defensive strat. Jump up and attack while the leopard is about five feet away and the leopard will get hit. Yeah, I think Okami has called us. This is turning out to be a pretty close match. Yeah, Garb is and... behind, but 
you know, she's been making a good push and has actually learned how to jump out of the pits pretty well when the floor is collapsing. Uh, I, I feel like if Garb can beat this level soon, she has a good chance of catching up with some of the other players. Yeah, yeah. everybody else oh. is super close to each other, though. Everyone is doing really well. Like, I know that we always say everyone's doing so well, but no, everyone is doing really well. <laughs> Amazing Toaster died to the stabby poles that came out and unfortunately did a lot of damage, killed him. One thing that can help, this is a note, uh, if things are damage boosting you, what you may consider is turning around and seeing if the damage boost knocks you the other direction, because if so, that, you know, you're going to lose a little health, but it would get you through that area uh, probably a little bit faster than just tanking the damage over and over and over again. Someone dealing with the square boulders made of round boulders. Oh my gosh. So I don't know if Akami is actually dealing damage to the boss because he's been doing this for a bit. And the timer is beginning to get uh, concerning. The boss is dead! Oh, it's because I said something, isn't it? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, what you say here totally influences anything that's happening on the screen. <laughs> Okay, Amazing Toaster has the triple spikes, but managed to get through them. I think he did take damage. Oh yeah, Okami's on the falling level. All you do is you fall, try not to get hit, possibly collect a few items, and then fight a boss at the bottom. Yeah, yeah the falling level. This is oh. also a bit rate mistake. Oh my gosh, three people on waterfalls at the same time. I apologize everybody's stream quality. I know it's just gone through the floor, but that's just life here. So Akami is nearly on the last level. Yeah, uh, after the waterfall is the enemy hideout. Uh, of course, I, if I remember correctly, the boss at the bottom of this is actually a bit of a problem. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure, you know. We could see a completion fairly early, the 35, 40 minute mark. Oh, here we go, here's the, what the crap is this? Freaking I... jumping mushroom of death? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I love the helpful hints in the manuals. First off, learn how all the different enemies move. It'll be easier for you to destroy them. Wow, okay, video game 101 right there. Learn to duck and jump. Sometimes that's all you can do to escape getting hurt. Okay, duh. How about watch out for traps? I mean, that's kind of helpful info, but you're gonna learn very quickly. Like, you're going to die to the first trap that you meet. That's just life. The boss's weak spots are mentioned at the beginning of every round. Remember it. Yep, it does say the weak point of the boss uh, before you begin. However, remembering it by the end versus just attacking the boss and figuring, like, hearing where it hits, that's probably going to be more effective here. Okami fighting a wall. Can you fight? Yeah, there you go. Okay. So for this last level, um timer is a concern like you don't have a lot of time to or the length of the level but someone is on to yeah. the leopard and garb is on to the helicopter level honestly garb making some quick progress here that is a death but that wasn't too far into the level garb has plenty of time especially if the leopard gives someone 325 or amazing toaster some trouble like, currently it's Okami in the lead. I believe someone 325 in second, Amazing Toaster third, Garb in fourth. I could be mistaken about second and third, but I do not believe I am. It is something in that ballpark, yes. Aha! Um, oh, his the refs. Yeah. Um, Oka sorry. Okami 
the monsters to come. Yeah! Well, this has been a great match. Oh my gosh, Justin brought me a waffle! Justin, thank you, everybody. I have a waffle and some sausage and a hash brown. Oh my gosh. Nice. I didn't realize how hungry I was. Yeah, so if I go quiet for a second, I apologize. It means I have a... <laughs> I have a <laughs> waffle in my mouth. I'm finishing that thought and we're moving on. Okay. So, Okami, uh, yeah, time is definitely going down a little quickly uh, for Okami, but, like, this level doesn't seem Edge like it's too challenging. Edmaze, you have a waffle? Yay! Oh, well, you have Waffle Fox Bree. Yeah. Oh, yes. Haha! <sighs> That's okay. I've got a waffle. I've got Cyber Shinobi. By the way, after this, we will be rating Smite if he is online, which I believe he is. It should be his birthday stream, and I would love to go say hi to him. So Akami's now the last boss. This is the last boss? This nerd? This is the last boss. Uh-oh. Mr. Grabby So hands. we'll see how he goes. But, yeah, well, they're pretty much at completion. How do you even hurt this nerd? Um, so the boss will eventually, like, do this tackle thing. Like, yeah, like that. Oh, that's it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Okami's got this. Yeah, this is gonna be fine. Yeah, I, I, I expected at least one completion. Hopefully we won't see three people complete. But Honestly, everybody complete. Everybody beat this game. Come on, it's Cyber Shinobi. Kick its butt. I'd love to have multiple completions. I will bring up chat and uh, when Okami wins, um, shall we invite him in? Oh, absolutely. So I don't think there's any second phase after this. I will, you know, check to make sure. Oh, yeah, we can bring in Okami after, uh, if Okami finishes this fight, which I believe he will. There's always a chance that Okami, for some reason, just starts doing absolutely terribly. You never really know. Uh, meanwhile, really... He does have one minute. Second, third, and fourth are very much up for grabs at this point. Yeah, Okami has the timer flashing, but that is it. The boss is down, and Okami appears to have finished Cyber Shinobi. Free the brain! Or kill the brain, I don't know. Whatever. I will... Or Kamino. You fought my plans! You're gonna die with me, Joe Masashi! With those final words, Mother Brain exploded! Miraculously, Joe survived and managed to stop all the nuclear missiles from going off! Joe's long battle had ended, and once again, the world became peaceful. Whatever became of Joe, no one knows for sure. Though, some say that he returned to the Valley of Shinobi. And I could just hop directly into Call Cat really if I'm... Aha! Oh, we get the Mega Man 2 end. Perfect. Oh, yeah, that's a very Mega Man-esque ending. I mean, he even really kind of looks like Mega Man. Oh, Kami, congratulations. You destroyed this game. Thank you. Yeah, I was having a lot of fun with the game up until I got a game over. Because getting a game over, it has that Gradius Syndrome where you lose all your power-ups. Uh, and in this case, that's a problem because uh, you lose all your power upgrades and therefore enemies become damage sponges. 
so yeah, had to start finding some cheese to get through some of those sections. The uh, don't underestimate crouching and walking at the same time because this is a powerful strat. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, actually yeah. watching yeah. Amazing yeah. Toaster right now, just kind of crawling and kicking. <laughs> You know, this screen that, uh, that both Mason Coaster and Garby on, are on was a really frustrating one to figure out how to do when I lost all my power because you can't exactly freely move because the, of the wooden spikes getting ready to, uh, to impale you. Oh, yeah. You don't have a lot of mobility on that screen. I found, uh, just, uh, chilling in the corner was the, uh, was the way to go. Oh, to no! Toaster! Oh, that was a fast death. That was beautiful. Oh, okay, come on. Also, this boss... Oh. <laughs> uh, this boss, that amazing toaster, and someone are. I see both of them don't have any power upgrades like I had in this boss, and it took a lot of hits to beat this boss. Like, I found... Yeah, a lot. I, I found a rhythm for the boss, um, whereas, like, I could basically almost certainly never get hit, and it still took me wailing away at this boss for, like, three or four minutes until it finally died. Yeah, like, we were definitely getting concerned about the timer at that stage. Yeah, I think I was, uh... My timer was blinking at the final boss because I was running so low on time. Which, yep. How does that boss's AI work? It seems to have three different moves, or sorry, four different moves, and only one of them it seems to put its shield down for. Is it just random? Was there something I was missing, like a way to damage it otherwise, besides waiting for it to charge at me? You ask a lot of questions, I, don't you? I believe it's just random. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I want to know, like, am, am I doing this right? You, most people who play in Cuso Grande have the experience of, like, am I missing something? Am I doing this right? Whether it's because they're not getting anywhere or, and uh, they're just stuck trying to figure out what to do, or if they do something that does not feel intended but still works. Oh, no, I completely agree. I'm just, I'm just joking. I'm joking. It's 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 a joke. Yeah. Oh, someone three two five is through the boss. I I actually wonder the power gauge might not actually affect how much damage you do to the boss, but just normal enemies. Uh, I believe power is just damage in general to everything. Yeah. At least this the stage following it. I. I don't know how to feel about this stage that someone is on because it's like impossible to react to. It it, it feels like a bonus stage, but it's impossible it to react. Very to. much is. But you can get uh, power. I think I got a few extra lives as well from it. Um, you are probably right. Yeah, the biggest thing is that like, uh, if you've played this game before, sure, you can memorize the locations and where you want to fall in order to get items. Otherwise, it's a crapshoot. Just, yeah. Yep. Until you've done it before, you're just getting whatever you end up with. Mm -hmm. mm. But yeah. Oh, so someone has quite a bit of power at the stage, so. So. Yeah. Probably will get through this boss pretty quickly. So I have to ask Okami, what do you think of the game? I think it's good. I think it's like solid as a round two game here. Um, definitely pretty brutal. Has the gotchas of the platforms that just fall unannounced. Some of them yeah. you can kind of look at and go, that looks like a platform that's going to fall once you know, you know, falling platforms is going to be a thing you'll have to deal with. Like the, mm. uh, the wooden, the wooden bl uh, bridge that someone's on right now, um, in some sections where some parts that would fall, uh, it was a different texture that was on, so you could actually tell the, the difference between the two, which were going to fall and which weren't. Yeah. And, like, I, I, the, I, the different texture definitely helps. It's not, uh, like, it's enough of a different texture that it helps the shipping crates were the biggest problem because those had, like, no tell. Except, hmm. uh, if you have played the game before, you know that, uh, if there's an enemy standing and has a gun, then the box in front of that enemy is what's gonna fall. Uh -huh. Yeah. It, it, that did seem like a consistent thing. Like, I think I landed on a platform. Like, this feels like a platform that's going to crumble away, and sure enough. Um, mm. didn't, didn't save myself from that pit, though. Um, I think the thing that was, 
like, I think the game needs to give you more power. I think if the game gave you more power-ups at each stage, it would be a much better game in that scenario, because there were no power-ups in stage four that I could tell. I started swinging around as I was walking to see if, like, that would, there were, like, hidden power-ups or something like that, because some games do that. Mm -hmm. uh, but I didn't find anything of the sort. Fascinating. Yeah, I'm also not sure the ninjutsu is very helpful at all. Like, I think I've seen exactly one enemy die from it, and it was right now. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem to be a, a screen nuke. Well, it, rather, it's a screen nuke, but not, like, enough damage to kill every regular mook. So, mm -hmm. it, yeah. it, so it seems like certain enemies, like... Uh, it would probably good against the uh, the gun guys because I think everyone, every guy with a gun that I fought went down in one hit. So ninjutsu would probably be good for uh, for them. Mm. Yeah. It's screen damage, basically. Yeah. Yeah, I. The more ninjutsu you save up, the stronger uh, the attack is that you get, supposedly. We didn't see anybody go past Tornado. We saw Tornado once. Uh, after that should be, uh, let's see, whatever the water is, and then finally Earth, uh, which the Earth attack might actually deal some damage, but I just do not know, you know? Nobody managed to collect enough. I wonder why. Because they were using it. Yeah. And because or they have they, better things to do. Or there just wasn't enough ninjutsu to pick up. Ah. Ever think of that? Whatever, Okami, just get it. Just do it. <laughs> and also, Game Over's clear it to do that as well. Yeah, with that said, you know, obviously, uh, I, I think that you're right. This is probably a pretty good round two uh, game. It, it's certainly... Uh, belongs here, I, I have to say. Like, it's it's pretty obvious this is a flawed game. <laughs> I would agree. I mean, name a Master System game that is not a flawed game. It's hard. <laughs> Master System has some cause... real jank. I mean, maybe Monster World. Oh no, Garb! Oh, Garb falling through the good. bridge. Ugh. That is a fairly big setback. Right now, someone 325 is getting close to the final boss. Amazing Toaster as well. Like, we may yeah, see I... a triple completion in just a little bit. Oh, I don't Alf. know how Alf's fun. I... Yeah, there you go, Alf. I don't know how much <laughs> health, uh, or rather how many lives that someone has, but if someone catches on to uh, this boss's power and how to dodge everything and how to damage it very fast. Uh, yeah, someone's gonna beat this very shortly as well. Let's see how many lives. One life remaining. Which... I was gonna say might be enough, and then someone just took a boatload of damage. Oh, no! Which means someone has no power again. I uh, has to start back from square one. Yep. Yeah, uh, it... this is uh, definitely gonna stay back for them. Yeah, that is a pretty big setback. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see if someone can get back into this because these enemies at the beginning of the stage are a little bit rude. Mm-hmm. Jetpack guys were fun because um, they basically did a, a little loop uh, and then you jumped over them and then they went away and that was the last you saw of them. See ya. <laughs> yeah, like, jetpack ninjas are often pretty annoying, but in this game, they, they're just like Taurus. They show up and they're like, Hey, honey, you see the view? Uh, yeah, darling. Uh, yeah. Uh, off the top of my head, the worst jetpack ninjas I think I've encountered in a video game uh, are the ones in the final stage of the uh, first TMNT game on NES. Those ones suck to deal with. Hmm. Also, because you have to fight them, you have to fight them in very cramped areas. So there's not a lot of room to maneuver. I'm curious how many lives Amazing Toaster has. I wasn't paying attention the last time they died, but it looks like they'll be uh, dying pretty shortly here again. But at least made it to the boss, which will be a checkpoint. Heck yeah! yeah. Many lives. Two, lives. Two lives. Okay. I, 
I think that'll be enough time to figure out this boss. Yeah. Yep, just gotta realize that, you know, you gotta wait realize for the shield, shield to go down. And I, I think Amazing Toaster is catching on to that. Yeah, okay, one life left. Good, good duck. Just jump when the grenades happen. Duck for the stabby thing and attack during the charge. Yeah, Amazing Toaster, I believe, has this. Yeah. All, there might not be enough time, though. Like, the timer is an issue here. I think Amazing Toaster... I don't remember how much power I had going into this fight. I think Am Amazing Toaster has a little bit more. Um, so that does impact the damage of bosses. Then well, I won't take Amazing Toaster nearly as long as it took me. But... I think this time wise, Amazing Toaster is good. Yeah. It is a very RNG-centric boss, so... Amazing Toaster could just get a cycle where the boss decides not to lunge at you at all, and then you run out of time. Hopefully that doesn't mm. happen, because that would be exceedingly rude, especially on Amazing Toaster's last life. Wow. Yeah. Come on! I mean, Charge! There's also the fact that time doesn't refresh between lives. Mm -hmm. Boss! I didn't, yeah, oh, I didn't even know. Just I didn't charge! Even that. Just charge! Um, and if you run out of time, you go back to the start of the level. Oh, that's that's gross. Why? Why? <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, good charge. Okay, now I'm, now you're making me glad I didn't slow down <laughs> all that much. Yeah, this is this is definitely a concern. You know, it, it's possible, but Amazing Toaster is low on time. I think yeah. here's going to be the fun thing, is if Amazing Toaster manages to beat the boss, because uh, beating the boss isn't enough. You also have to, like, bat the brain at the very end. But I think I noticed that the timer pauses it does, once, yes. you, it does. once you beat the final boss, so... Oh, no. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna be a close one! Come on, boss! Just... <laughs> okay, getting a shot out with the gun. If not a it would bad be especially, idea. It would be especially heartbreaking because I think There it's we go! Take, oh, nope, Amazing Toaster got it! Amazing Toaster takes second place, solidifying that and moving on to round three. Now, someone 325 and Garb will also both move on to round three. However, uh, whoever comes in last because will have a much bigger uphill battle. Indeed. Yeah, it's... Um, because of tracking, um, Garp has to actually beat the final boss comfort. Yep. Yeah. So it is. Order is pretty solidified at this stage, I reckon. Yeah, it's yeah. technically probably possible, but I'm, I'm I'm not gonna stop because you know we are very close to the end of this match. Yeah, I I do think it's possible for Garby to overtake someone. Um, the pro the problem. So is... it's amazing to us to join voice as well. I mean, if Toaster wants, sure. Whatever, we have a party in here. Toaster's asking to join the party. Why the heck not? Sure, I won't complain. Hey there, amazing Toaster. Good job, you also beat the game. Yay. Yay, let's see. Uh, someone325 is fighting the final boss here. We were getting very concerned about the boss, though. Particularly because you were running out of time. Yeah, there's yeah, like seconds left on the clock. Yeah, it, it just, uh, I, I don't know, it, it, it just decided it wanted to sit mm -hmm. back and fire at me rather mm -hmm. than uh -huh. charge you too? Um, yeah. I don't know if you caught, so there's something that I never caught on to that Cat Roy upon, um, enlightened me about when I hopped on call, so I'm wondering if you noticed it. Uh, your timer not refreshing when you die. Oh. Yeah, I didn't notice that. <laughs> I didn't either. Um... But yeah, that would make things a bit uh, tough as well. Uh, uh -huh. Someone did die to the final boss again, yep. uh, getting a getting a game over. So this is opening up the window for for Garby. But I think someone has enough of a handle on how the final boss operates to be able to get it next time. Yeah, it just really depends. Is yeah. Garb going to uh, be able to read the final boss well enough, or uh, yeah, yeah. is that not going to work? Because Garb has no power going into this stage, which, uh, honestly, mm -hmm. the, ha 
having zero power on the final stage, oh. that is a rough start. I yeah. picked up a lot of power in the stage. Yeah, there were a few power upgrades. Um, I was mentioning that the worst stage was uh, was stage four. I don't know about you, Amazing Toaster, because that one didn't seem to have any power ups. It didn't have yeah, it didn't have any items whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So it was uh, really unfortunate uh, trying to get through that stage because that. Uh, that's where I got my first game over, was stage four. Yeah. Um, oh, no, I, I, I did a lot of falling early on. I, I there yeah. was, yeah. <laughs> I, I did <laughs> some falling. <laughs> I, I did some falling as well, but, like, taking your first game over in stage four and having that be the stage that you have to do with minimal power-ups that's not stage one, uh, a little bit of a rude awakening. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was a fun game. Yeah, did you enjoy it, Amazing Toaster? I, I yeah, I did. It was it was it was fun. Uh, except when you that the the worst part was when you uh, uh, died and and lost all your power ups. Yep, you too. Yeah. Yeah, that I, is a pretty common complaint, it seems. If either you kept at least your power on game over, or if there were more power ups in each stage, I I would then call this a good game. Uh, without one or the other, uh, yeah, this belongs in Cusa Grande. Yeah, this game yeah, well, is that, very much a problem. The animations are a thing as well. I mean, that just it just seems like a Sega Master System game. I don't know about you. <laughs> Maybe. I don't, I don't know. I... <laughs> I would say this is one of the worst Master System games, but... It is I also... would not agree with. I've definitely played some Garbo Master System games. Oh, the, all Master System games are good. What are you talking about? Oh, I really enjoy Wonder Boy 3. It is always going to be the Master System game I recommend people try if they want to get into Master System games. Yeah, Wonder that, Boy yeah. 3. for sure. Like, uh, the Wonder Boy games are definitely worth playing uh, for the Master System. There are more modern versions, of course, on Steam, uh, and those are all good as well. Yeah, Wonder Boy 3 got a remake that I absolutely love because that remake does a fun thing where you can press a button um, and you just in an instant flip between the modern and the retro graphics, but then you can keep pressing the button over and over again uh, to have it so half the screen is the modern graphics and the other half is the retro graphics, and that's just really cool to me. That's so fun. By the way, someone in the bottom right is currently on the final boss. If someone can manage to get through this boss, that is a solid third. Garb is currently in fourth. Garb would need to get to the boss and kill it before someone 325 does in order to win. And Garb is someone on the boss. Someone has shown that he knows how to fight this boss and all the techniques it does. He is low on health, um, but if, if someone can consistently avoid this boss, which someone really seems to have down pat now, I think someone's gonna be able to do it on this life. If not this life, absolutely the next one. Good duck by Garb. I think Garb is a little bit concerned that the boss isn't charging and is trying to figure out, is there a way to bait this boss to actually come charge and drop the shield and the unfortunate Fair reality is that. i don't think so oh double so double charge that was nice yeah they oh so this is interesting both of them know everything that the boss is capable of so it's just going to be a question of whose boss explodes first yeah if either of them oh my gosh stop with the arms oh <laughs> Garb just sneaking I out. The I oh, no, 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 Garb. No, that's no. how you die. Garby. Last life oh. for Garb. Only a minute and a half left. This might... I, I don't know if Garb yeah. has the time to do it now. I think it's possible, but it depends on what the boss says. But well, someone's been bapping this boss for a while, so I think it's only going to take a few more hits for the boss to go down for someone. I think you're probably right. It would take a miracle. But if someone messes up a single time, that could be a death. And there oh. goes the boss. Someone hey. locks in third place. Garb 
just trying to kill this boss, trying to get its shield to go down, and unfortunately, the RNG here is a pain. We're gonna go ahead and just keep watching Garb until there's either a game over or the boss dies, and that is a game over. I think we're gonna go ahead and call it there. Yeah. GG players. All one of them in call right now who can hear me. <laughs> hey, everybody made it to the final boss at least, so that was it. Yeah. Yeah. That is it. There's not going to be enough time for Garb to get past where they got. And because of that, I am calling it. We are done. And that is time, everybody. What an amazing match for the players. Seriously. Okami coming in first, Ga uh, d -d 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 amazing toaster in second, someone 325 in third, and oh, Garb coming in fourth. Just not enough time to get back to the boss, but Garb had a fantastic push. She was behind a lot and made up a lot of ground. Seriously, absolutely an amazing job. Yeah, so are there any final thoughts from uh, Okami or amazing toaster about this game? Don't program your games to make enemies damage sponges. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Our, there are people who complain about artificial difficulty, and uh, that's something that they usually cite. I'm not sure if that's necessarily artificial, but it's not fun for players, you know? Don't make damage sponges. Make damage uh, the opposite of a sponge. Well, it's the opposite of a sponge. A twig. Huh. A twig? Damage twigs. Yeah, damage twigs. Break them in half. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Okami. I think the actual answer is glass cannon. Okami, <laughs> what are you doing on stream these days? What is going on? I uh, run Retro Book Club over on my channel uh, where we get a group of people together. Each person picks out a game and we play that game for half an hour. Uh, last. Uh, yesterday, uh, I know Polk was talking about our last show uh, earlier when they were GMing, but uh, we had Junction, uh, you know, favorite of Cusa Grande of the GM bracket. Oh, yeah. Uh, Polk got to give out Evil Zone. Uh, we also had Tarzan of Cusa Grande fame, um, but it was also my... Uh, that show was my first experience uh, getting to play Chibi Robo for GameCube. Now, that game is fun. And you should play Chibi Robo. Okay. Yeah, I I'm trying to remember. I don't think I've ever actually played Chibi Robo, but I should. What about you, Amazing Toaster? Anything happening on stream that people should know about? Nothing on my stream, although uh today is the last day for uh RPG Limit Break uh volunteering sign up, so if you want to volunteer do it by midnight Eastern. Good to know, everybody. Get those signups in. Uh, it's going to be happening in... Is it in May? It's in May, yeah. It's towards. It's uh, the week before Memorial Day. The week before Memorial Day. I'm, I actually think I'm traveling during that week. Uh, I'll have to see. I'll take a look real quick. Well, with that said, everybody, thank you again for coming for Cuso Grande. We'll try to be back on Tuesday with Don't Make Us Bored. Always check the schedule to see when the next matches are. We should be having some this upcoming weekend as well. For now, let's raid Smite and let's go ahead and raid with the wonderful raid message. What should our... We could say Zed. We could say Fire. I may also say Meat Meat. Zed again. I like Fire. Fire. Go <laughs> share. Uh, if you yeah. have emotes related to fire, go ahead and share those. You can say meep meep as well. Whatever. Smite will accept all of them. All right. Until later, dear friends. This has been Kusa Grande. I'm Bro Sancha, Cat related pun. Thank you for being our GM. And I will see you all no later. Take care, friends. Hi, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.